When you're creeking in um, high class creeks, like class four, class five creeks, the water tends to move pretty quickly. So if you swim out of your boat, um, you can have the unfortunate situation of having to chase after your boat. And getting it out of the water can be problematic if there's a lot of water in it. Um, so this is why we use flotation bags. Flotation bags, when they're filled up completely and they're inside the boat, they displace the water from the boat. So they always have some sort of the boat or some part of the boat lifting up towards the surface so you can pull on it towards shore. Um, they don't always have to be flotation bags. If you're on a multi-day trip and if you're out in the backcountry for a couple days and you have a lot of gear that you have to take with you, um, you can also use dry bags filled with gear um, as long as they're waterproof to displace that water. It may not float as high as a float bag, but it won't sink as low um, as your, your boat filled with water. So the float bags are pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you put them in the boat, you want them with as little air as much as you can um, in the float bags. Generally, they go behind the seat. You slide them in behind the back band. And then blow them up through the air tube right here. And then stuff the air tube back in and then you have nothing to grab onto you.